In this video I will show you how to make crystal droplet earrings. You are going to need two fish hook ear wires, two eye pins, two 7mm jump rings, two 10mm disco ball beads, two 10mm Swarovski heart shaped crystals. First of all, take one of your hearts and one of your jump rings. I'm going to attach the heart to the jump ring. So using your chain nose pliers and a pair of flat nose pliers. Grip the ring either side of the seam and twist the pliers in order to open that jump ring. You need to do it quite a way so that you can easily thread on your heart crystal. Once you've done this, go ahead and twist the jump ring closed, making sure you get a nice close finish on that seam. To prepare your disco ball, we need to take one of your eye pins. Thread your bead onto the head pin. Using your nail or a pair of pliers, bend the wire to 90 degrees, as close to the bead as you can. And then using some cutters, you need to trim off the excess wire, leaving about a centimetre above the bead. Always cutting towards your mat. Using your round nose pliers, we're going to turn a loop at the top of the bead. So grip the end of the wire with your pliers and make a rolling action away from your body using small movements so that you can get a nice circular loop. And you just turn it until the two ends of the wire meet. And you'll get a nice secure closure. There's no gaps in between the end of the wire and the other one. Take a second pair of pliers and just twist so that those two loops are facing the same way. And we're just going to assemble the earring. So, taking your earring wire, we're going to open one of the loops on one side of the disco ball using your chain nose pliers. All you need to do is just like using a jump ring, twist that end open, thread on your earring wire and twist it again to close it with your pliers. To attach your heart on the other end, we're just going to open that side of the bead loop Thread on the jump ring of your crystal heart and twist to close. That makes a really beautiful sparkly earring. Uh, repeat the steps to make your second earring. And of course you can use whatever colours or different beads to create different effects. The ear wires that I've used are sterling silver um, and you can get these quite easily online. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more tutorials please visit our website or subscribe to our YouTube channel.